As a young boy, I can remember um, when Fidel Castro took over. And of course, back in those days, if you were called a rebel, we, we, we would think of the Civil War. And they said, oh no, not that kind of rebel. You're, you're a rebel like uh, Fidel Castro. Well, who's Fidel Castro? And, and then we, we f would find out, though, he t took over Cuba and uh, he's a, a communist and, and things like that. We thought, well, he's a, he's a bad guy just because he was communist. But um, anyway, like I say, he was just in power until a few years back. But when we were teenagers, young, young teenagers, Fidel Castro coming to power was, was quite something. We were, we were pretty impressed that one man could do that, especially since uh, John F. Kennedy didn't like it. And then I remember the, the Cuban Missile Crisis. That was pretty pretty scary stuff. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah, 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 as a young boy, you didn't take an interest in politics too much. You know, like you, you uh, followed your, your, your parents, whatever your parents. I can remember um, the Niagara Lake was always conservative. Always has been, always will be, still is. And uh, Bill Greaves, uh, Bill Greaves the third, he, a friend of mine, used to play the um, trumpet. And uh, after an election, they would drive around town in the back of the truck, playing the trumpet because the, the conservatives had won. So I always remember that. That was uh, that was really something.